So let's say you've been working on this website, not in CodePen, but in separate files on your computer, and you want to put them up in a way that you can show someone else. A really easy way for us to do that is to utilize GitHub to host our very simple website. So the first thing that we're going to do is log into GitHub. If you don't already have a GitHub account, you're going to need one in order to do this. So please sign up for that and then we can continue onward. So we're going to create a repository. And we're going to name it uh, Nuevo Foundation Benji because the website is for Benji. And we're going to say this is a small website for Benji the dog for the HTML and CSS workshop. And we're going to initialize it with a readme so that we can use it right away. OK, so now we have our repository up and running. Our repository is where we can store code. There's a whole bunch of other things that a repository does, but we don't need to worry about them right now. We're going to go ahead and upload some files. So I have the files that I need on the computer. So let me go ahead and start to upload those. The first one is our HTML file, which needs to be called index.html if we want to use it um, to host a website here on GitHub. If you don't name it index.html, then when we enable the hosting, we might not see anything. So keep that in mind. And then I'll also add my CSS file so we can look really cool. And we'll go ahead and commit the changes. OK, now we have the files that we need on our repository and we can go to the settings to enable hosting. So if we go ahead and scroll all the way down in our settings, down, down, down until we hit GitHub pages, we can set the source to the master branch. What that does is we're telling GitHub to use the content in our master branch to host a web page. All right, so it is auto saved. And now if we scroll down to the GitHub pages section, we can click on a URL to see the website that we have uploaded. OK, so it's not there yet. We may have to wait a little bit for it to turn up. OK, so it's been a couple of minutes. We let it run and now we can see the website that we created together. Awesome, that completes our workshop. Thank you for participating and I hope you learned a little bit about CSS and HTML.